This your boy Big Creek. Yeah, you already know what it is, man. What's happening, bro, bro? You not rocking with the chaotic vibes. Yeah. Of DJ C Chaos. <laughs> On IndioRadio.com. Hey, man, happy motherfucking birthday, man. You know, I go by DJ Plug, the Flitz Guard. You know, I'm the... The last hope. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that happy birthday. What made you coin that shit? Because, like, literally, niggas in the city will see you anywhere, really. I don't know. But niggas will see you, and that's, like, the first, like, if a nigga say happy birthday, I, I, I'm i not turning around. I know plug behind me. Or, you know what I'm saying? Some shit like that. How'd that come about? <clears throat> see, I just, the way I, the reason why I was doing that is because you got to live life like it's your birthday every day. You know, sometimes you wake up, you be in a bad mood or whatever, but, you know, you get the most love when it's your birthday. That's a fucking fact. You get the most love when it's your birthday. So I just yeah. tell them motherfucker, happy birthday. Just, you know, I ain't no telling what's going on in their life. Yeah. I tell them happy birthday, they instantly smile or they look a few and then they smile, yeah, you know, smile. but at the same time, I brighten up a motherfucking day yeah. by telling them happy birthday. Happy motherfucking happy birthday. Happy motherfucking plug birthday. Way. That's what I'm going to start saying. After, after I say it, I'm going to say the plug way. Because <laughs> that's, your, that's your shit. Anybody that's out here saying that shit had to have gotten that shit from you. Most definitely. They know they know where this shit came from. They know it came <laughs> from the goddamn plugster. <coughs> the plugster. <laughs> hey, so you said something about Flex God. I want um Bobby was supposed to be here. Shout out Most to Bobby. Definitely. Shout out to Bobby. Well, um, he'll, he'll be back later on, whatever. But um let people know what the Flex God is, what the Flex God movement is. Okay. How that came about. All right, the Flex God, you know, it's it's really it's, it started off as me and Bobby. And then we met it's a production group, matter okay. of fact. It's a production company. Uh, it started off me and Bobby, you know, me and Bobby had linked up through a mutual friend, then that mutual friend, matter of fact, the mutual friend, Johnny Fee. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Hey, so man. I used to pull Shout up on Johnny Fee. Yeah. I used to pull up on Johnny Fee. Johnny Fee was like, damn, bro, you, you, your sound is so familiar to Bobby Critic. I said, oh, man, I know him. I wanted to always meet him. He, yeah. And he linked that up. He put that together. And me and Bobby just been real tight ever since. So. You know, me and Bobby do a lot of records together, a lot of records. He do a lot of shit on his own. I do a lot of shit on my own. And then, you know, we more definitely get together and do a lot of shit together. And then we we just, then we, we grabbed our little buddy named Weirdo, you know. He, so there's a third person. It's a third person, okay. but he's not in Atlanta no more. He moved away. He moved He moved here from East St. Louis, I want to say. Uh -huh. He moved here from East St. Louis, went to school down here, you know, um... He got the hell on. <laughs> he, went, <laughs> he got the hell on. He went to California. He went to school in California. Then he graduated. Then he moved to Vegas. Okay. But he'll be back in Atlanta before the year over with. But to he, move or he just be here? He gonna be, nah, he'll be back here okay. living. Okay. Uh, his sound is more of a um, Charlotte Red, D. Rich okay. style, you know. Those his mentors. That's who got him right. And yeah. then, you know. We just embrace, bro. Okay. But yeah, but you know, um, we got a lot. Of, we got a lot of little scraps too. We got a little, a lot of little young cats, you know, around the, around the nation, you know, repping the flex guard shit too. They tight as fuck, you know. You know, like her, me, Tarantino, uh, Lifted, um, Billy Francis, Wright. Um, I don't want to miss out on everybody. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, and my boy Sierra, man. You, you yeah. Know, oh, and Demon, Demon here. He a young cat though. He go yeah. to um. What the high school there right here on the east side? Ain't too the east side, but South with the cab. Oh, okay. You go to South with the cab, little okay. homie. Go to South with the cab. Got the young niggas walking with you. Yeah, 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 man. You know, we we try to make sure everybody on the right path. You okay. know, everybody got a common goal with this with the yeah. music. So, you know, a lot of guys be needing a little mentor or whatnot, a little direction. You know, so, we, yeah. so you playing the mentor role, which is just crazy. Like, I always tell you, like a young OG out here. So... Who who played mentor for you? Like who who got you in the game? Who got you right? On a production tip, my cousin actually taught me how to make beats. He a rapper though. Shout out to Spider Man. Not the uh, <laughs> <laughs> not the fucking the superhero, but yeah, he the one. He gave me my first beat machine. You know, he gave me my first beat machine, and, and it been on since then. But on a DJ tip, it been Swan is on Greg Street. Okay, you know they the one who mentored me, especially the Swamp. Swamp got me out of the team where I was stuck. Yeah, I was stuck doing that team part of shit, man. I that could not, I that could not get out of that shit, man. And then I had when I came home from vacation. 
Nah, you love vacation. Nah, you love vacation. Nah, not that kind of vacation. Nah, you love the vacation. The band vacation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I came home from vacation, the long vacation. <laughs> you know, Swamp put me in uh, at Body Tap, which yeah. is now known as V Live. Yeah. I was young, they, you know, one part of being in That when I met Black Sea, too, though. Okay. But them boys always, they always steered me in the right way. They showed me how to really, really, you know, um, Really DJ, how to read the crowd. Yeah. Cause at first, you know, niggas just playing music, playing, playing, just, playing whatever what I want yeah. to play. Yeah. But they showed me how to read the crowd. I gotta pay attention to vibes. Yeah. Pay attention to energy and shit like that. So okay. you know. So yeah. so shout out to first of all, shout out to them. Them yeah, is two big them. homies out there. Yeah, for uh, sure. Swamp Israel Greg Street. So was it DJ first or was it production first? And what did you like like, you know, most producers start in, in the church and the, on the piano or no. drums and something? Anything like that? Uh, it started off it started off production first. Uh -huh. But for me, I was in the band from third grade to ninth grade. Okay. I played all brad instruments. So so it was like like I, the plug I know is like a big gangster, big bully plug. Was you like was you getting bullied because you was in I the was band? never the bully. <laughs> I mean, I was never getting bullied, my bad. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. I was, <laughs> yeah. I was on, I was on site. <laughs> you got that? I was always there with it, you know. All right, there. You know, if you want this shit, we gonna get this shit pop in. <laughs> but now I was never. I ain't bully people. I just, I would declare a clown though. You've always been, there. Uh, yeah. Okay, you know, but I ain't play that shit though. I'm all, it's all, it's, it's the same way how I am yeah. now. How we a jokey joke joke, but yeah. when it's time to you know put that work in, <laughs> put that work in. But yeah, but yeah, yeah, it, it started off on the production, started the production first, and then the DJ just came along with it because um, I was just all my friends were just promoters. Yeah. All my friends were promoters. Um, Yaki, mm -hmm. Yaki, Johnny Cinco, they was the the biggest promoters at the time. Yeah. And they needed a DJ. Yeah. So I had to battle their current DJ. I had to mm -hmm. DJ battle their current DJ to get it to, to stay working. Yeah. And I whooped his ass. <laughs> like, did, was, was that, that was it was a, a legit, legit battle? battle like, it, was a legit battle. Okay. it was a legit battle. It was a legit battle. What, what like, put an error on this? Like, what, what it was, was <laughs> what, what time it was, was like this? Ten, two thousand fucking. 10? So what was what was the battle songs that was going Man, on? B? I don't even know. It, it was some lame ass shit. It was some goddamn <laughs> bye bye clap, motherfucker. <laughs> you just gotta know how to bye bye on their ass. <laughs> just gotta know how to bye bye on them, man. You know, but I don't, I don't even know where that DJ went. I, I forgot the name. I think he's still a DJ. <laughs> Ain't, ain't, no ain't, ain't no pressure though. Ain't no pressure okay. though. He ain't pop okay. pop no more. Ain't, ain't that pop. nigga ain't out here. He cool though, no but he ain't, he ain't. Nah, hell nah. So you you come you come in a in an era that is to me is interesting, at least when at least for everybody outside of Atlanta, when Atlanta started like really bubbling, like you had the 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 like you said the bow bow clap eras and the fucking lean with it rock with yeah, it eras. Snap so like, movement, like, like were you producing then? Did you have a hand in that shit too? Um, I started producing in the bow bow clap era, like with the rich you, kids, all them. You had you had a a, a wave in that. Yeah, era? yeah, yeah. I was a part of the the production group Beat Monsters. Uh huh. Uh, it was me. Quanty Cash, Tony Heat. I did not know Quanty Cash Monster was Mar, a producer. And Casey the Beat Monster. I know Casey. Casey, Casey did to my partner there. Yeah, no, I um, know who Casey is. You know, Beat Monster Mar, he had the whole shop boy. He had Meanie. He had Meanie front of shop boy yeah. loaded. Then Quanty Cash, you know, he had his own music. Oh, okay. Then me, I was just in there just popping in Working on everybody else's yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, so, yeah, I was a part of the, um, the I guess you... With the futuristic, the bye bye yeah, crap yeah, futuristic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I that's, part that of that. Is what yeah. they call that, yeah. So what was your what was your first like I guess song that like really made you say, Okay, look, this is what we're gonna do. This is how we're gonna get it because it it did something. It not necessarily blew up, but it did a little something to make you say, Okay, you know what, I'm gonna do this a little bit serious. Uh, to be honest, I don't it was a lot of records. It, man, it was so many songs back like you then. Have, you got your hands on them. Like, it be, it, even today, like your discography, whether it's known or not, is so long. Like it yeah, be, it's too, yeah, it's too long. It's it, too long. I've been working for a long time, but I'm, I'm going to tell you this. The records that 
well, the, the person that made me want to go ahead and, and just like fuck it, quit my job and all this yeah. is when I met Future. Okay. You know. Um, and like even speak on that because even like when we had the first conversation, it was like, yeah, I did Future early shit. And it's just like you said it so nonchalantly like, that what I did. And it's like, hold on, <laughs> nigga. Like we talking about, we talking about the wizard. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like, you know, speak on how, how you and Future came about and what records you got or, you know, at least uh, on some of the biggest records. The, the, the way I met Future is through Willa Fool. Okay. Willa Fool, one of my good buddies. I've been knowing bro since ninth grade. Like and, and like not even to like get off track, but like it seems as though <laughs> everybody that like like you went to school with somebody or you either like I grew up together, like Atlanta has to be the smallest city for for industry shit. Cause it's like even when we be in the club, it's like, oh yeah, 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 that's my good friend from you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> from ninth grade. We uh yeah, and he do this now and he and he put me on. Yeah. Yeah, so um what happened? Yeah, it, it's small as a fool, man. Everybody either stayed a light or two away from each other, or you went to school. But um, yeah, Willa Fool. One day, Will, I always had a little whip or whatnot. So Willa Fool called me. He was like, "Hey, bro, you think you can take me up here to the studio to meet up with Future? I gotta goddamn, you know, give him some files or whatnot." I'm like, "Cool, no problem." So at what point in Future's career was this? This was astronaut status. Okay. Astro yeah, astronaut. Early. Status. It it's was early. It, it ain't early, early, but it's after, after dirty sprite and stuff okay. like that. Okay. He was popping then. He was popping, popping. Yeah. Nigga knew who he was. Yeah. Nigga knew exactly who I was. I think it was like either right before his, <coughs> his first album or right after the first okay. album. Nah, it was before. It was okay. right before. It was the mixtape before the album. Um. So we went up there. I'm a. Uh, again, I'm always prepared. I'm always prepared no matter, you know, because Atlanta's so small yeah. and people are always ready to work no matter what. You know, you could be walking around the mall and they were like, hey, bro, look yeah. at your studio right now. Yeah. Niggas ain't got time for you to go somewhere else yeah. to go get your yeah. shit and yeah. come back. That's a fact. So I always have a flash drive or a hard drive on me. So it wasn't my play. You know, I was just there just basically being a ride. Yeah. So I, you know, when I died, I spoke to bro and I sat my head down. Yeah. You know, I ain't taught no neck because it wasn't. It wasn't your it won my, It yeah. won my place, you know. So, Will, you know, after Will had to hit business, Will was like, shit, my boy made beats too. Yeah. He put me on the spot. <laughs> so, I'm like, shit. <laughs> Bro was like, shit, play something. You got something? I was like, hell yeah, I got yeah. something. So, I played, them, I played them six beats at the time. He picked five. Yeah. So, it been on this popping since. So, so did any of that come? Yeah, all the, yeah, all them bitches came out. <laughs> <laughs> all, all five of them records came out. He, but the way how he moved, like you would think songs be new, but it be old. Maybe old. You just know how home. to put them out in yeah. a certain way. Like, like out of the five, two on came out on astronaut um status the mixtape. Yeah, I had swap it out and um best to shine on that project. Then I had one came out on the album on Pluto. I forgot the name of that song. Then I had one on streets calling. Mm -hmm. the, I'm a ball forever. He was yeah. just spacing them out. He yeah. was spacing them out. You, you did I'm a ball forever? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. Yeah, and then I got back up with him again. I mean, we always made records. Yeah. He'd shop them out. He'd yeah. sell them, whatever, yeah. whatever. And then um, I did two on two on um, Monster. Okay. I did um, oh, that hard. Gangland and um. Um, I did Gangland and Mad Love. Mad Love, yeah. Did Gangland and Mad Love. I think that was the last time I worked with bro. But in between that, I was working with Rocco too. I was doing okay. that and everything on Rocco projects at the same time. So, okay. You, know, you double dipping back. Yeah, I was got that. <laughs> that nigga was double dipping. I go in, I be in one room, I go in that room, they all be in one bed and I, I got that. I'm like, all right, y'all for the go. But I go in the other room with Rocco and got that. Hey, woo, woo, hey, hey, like no bullshit. You do that today. We was oh, at, where, where was we at? We was uh, at Main Street. Main Street doing that hopping around room. To room. Hey. If you got more than one room in your studio, this nigga's hopping around. I'm hopping. <laughs> I'm hopping. I'm trying to make it do what it do. So, so just because you know we got layman people who are listening, you said something about you did a song. And he shop it out. Just it kind of explain what that what that uh, even means. Basically, like he know the song. It's a cool song, but it's not fit. It don't fit him. It's not his song. It ain't his song. So yeah. he wrote it 
and sold it. Okay. Sold the song to somebody else, like, you know, shit like that. That, like, so, like, do like, how, how does that, like, do you figure that out early, or, like, you just listening and be like, oh, shit, I made that? A lot of times, that's how I be. I don't... A lot, of, a lot of songs, it's, it's, I ain't gonna lie to you, it's a lot of songs out now that I don't even know I made because I don't be knowing that it came out. So how, like, when, when does it get? I don't find out until just being on social media, somebody <laughs> at me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. People at me, hey, bro, this, boy, you went crazy on this motherfucker. Yeah, you be like, oh, shit. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Who made that? Who yeah, dropped wait. that? Then I got that. Then I look it up. I'm like, oh, that dropped. Yeah. Call my manager or my lawyer, hey. Yeah. The album came out and I'm on it. I need my. I need me, me. <laughs> we all need us. Yeah. Goddamn. So, so nigga, it's a lot. It's been a lot of shit like that. We're on, even with um, with the dude PNB Rock. Yeah. Goddamn. Uh, he dropped the album. I ain't never. I was. Some told me to listen to his album because I had just met the nigga that yeah. week to work with him like yeah. physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know, I met him. He, he cool cat. So I was like, damn. Let me check out his album. He just dropped the album. Let me check his album out. I ride to the album. I get to the last song. It one of my beats that I didn't give him. He got yeah. it from somebody else. Uh huh. So I'm like, how often does that happen? How lot. often? Like somebody you give somebody a beat and somebody else ends up. That's why I don't like emailing beats. True enough. That's why I don't email True beats. Enough. I'd rather pull up. Yeah. I whatever I play, you like that? All right, you finna yeah. pull it up right now. Yeah. And go <laughs> Do ahead it and right. start yeah, on yeah, it. You yeah, know. Yeah, so yeah. I don't. I don't give a nigga beats because sometimes these folks don't even check their own email. Yeah. They be having a little partner yeah, or yeah, the yeah. engineer. You know, check the fuck around and slide that motherfucker yeah. to the side type shit. More definitely. So, I just be had to just pay attention. I just be had to listen to just check out everybody's shit. Like, that's something I want you to touch on too, you know, how, how important it is to keep on top of your business, especially oh, for up and coming uh, producers. Man, it's, that's the most. The, the business, it's, music, the music game is 90% business, man. Really 95. 97. Really, I want to say 98, <laughs> goddamn. <laughs> 98 being a 2% talent, man, because as long as you got your business together, you can get so much shit. You can get way more than what you would actually get yeah. outside of talent. Nigga don't really give a fuck about talent. If you know what you're talking about and knowing what to do, yeah. oh, man, you get a bag. Easy. How, how many times you got finesse before you got it right? I can say three for show. Sure. Three, three for show time. Three like for big show. finesses or like it wasn't no big finesse, but it was a finesse. Okay, it was a, it was more devil finesse. It hurt. Like, it didn't hurt. It just all right. I know what to do. Yeah. I mean, I still. It, it, it's the point. It's it's the fact. Like it, what I mean by finesse is like I didn't get my full amount. Yeah. That I could have got. Okay. But that's it's not. It wasn't their fault. It was my fault for not knowing my worth. Yeah. So, it wasn't like the OT finesse. You know what I'm talking about. That cut it beat. Oh, when he no. paid like two hundred dollars on YouTube. No, or not, one shit like that. not one of those. Not one of those. Do you do shit like that? Do you put beats up I on like YouTube? Sometimes, but old beats. Oh, old something beats that like that always. Got, that ain't got the get basically. Okay. Yeah, the ones that I lost the files to. Okay. Okay. You know, I was like, shit, I ain't, I can't do that with it anyway. Yeah. I just throw it out there. Yeah. Make a couple of dollars off or whatnot, but that, that's crazy. That was a big finesse. That was a huge finesse. That was a big. <laughs> when I heard it, I was like, God, they're like because you know, as a DJ or even you know just as a consumer. You don't really understand. Like, I, I love when people say DJs are the most important, but really, producers curate the sound. Producers, well, we you know make what the sound. We make the vibe. Y'all, y'all, y'all keep the culture, so it's kind of like y'all have to be number one. Yeah. But it's like the biggest, like, I see people today, like, go on YouTube. Like I said, go on YouTube and be like, oh, I want that beat. And it's kind of like inorganic to me. You know what I'm saying? And what's so crazy about that? I, I don't, I, I truly don't. I ain't gonna cap. I don't respect no artists who get beats off the YouTube. Yeah. Because there's so many artists. I mean, so many producers out here right now that you can just reach out, bit a bit a bit of relationship with, and just and, and curate your own sound. But that's 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 a lot of the internet. That's then, a lot. And, then, and now you got to worry about. Let's just say you you think you got a bang on that bit. Yeah. About. Fifty fifty million motherfuckers got the same beat. Got the same motherfucker. And you gotta now you gotta track the producer down because yeah. you never know who actually made yeah. the beat. So you gotta find a producer. Then you go like, hey bro, is the beat sold? Can yeah. I buy it? Yeah. Some of the producers are like, nah, we don't do exclusive rights. Or we just lease it out. Just let the people know what that means, please. Leasing I, is I, like I a rent. You rent the beat. You rent and anybody can rent it. Anybody can rent it. Can rent it. It's like a rental car. So, so what if like, and I, I ask you shit like this all the time, but like, what if two people blow up off that one song? Like, they got to figure that shit out. 
<laughs> now it's going to be the goddamn the price is right, goddamn the highest bidder. Hey man, it's, so a, that it's like a, a big producer, war now. Is that like a producer's dream? Like you lease, 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 and then somebody pop or two people pop? Some, are, some is, it depends on your goal. Some yeah. of these producers, that's what they live for. Yeah, just to be on the internet selling beats on the internet. That's crazy. You know, but don't get me wrong. A lot of guys make a a wonderful living out of selling beats on the internet. I just not. I'm just not. Um, what you what you call it? Uh. I don't sit in front of a computer long enough to keep it updated. Yeah. You know, you got to stay on that shit. You yeah. got to really be on it. Make beats and, and stay on your laptop, on your computer or whatever. Just You sell keep, a good fucking dream, I tell you that. Because I get on live and your ass is making the beat every yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, but... And then I get my ass up and go. <laughs> I do so, so, so... In, 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 as far as I know, and a lot of people know... Multi multi platinum producer, like you having it, you know what I'm saying? Like, have you hit the goal? Have you have like you are a lot of people's look up to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure, for sure. So have you hit in your peak yet? Have you have you done what you wanted to do? Not yet, not yet. I'm, I'm getting there though. I'm getting there. It's a, it's a lot of people I want to work with. Like who? Who does fucking plug want to work with? I want to work with Chris Brown, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> now that's real though. I want to work with Chris that Brown. Hard, I want to. I want to really. To be honest, I really want to get into like R and B for real, for real. And that's crazy because like I, that's another thing I like to say about you. Like you diverse. Like even even in what you play mm -hmm. and what you make. You know what I'm saying? So is it, how do you keep a balance? Because again, you're the flex god. Y'all are the flex god, and that's a a sound. That's a itself. sound. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then you sit. Like the other day, you walked in the room and was like, ah, I ain't been making that lately. I'm in a whole nother vibe. I'm like, yeah. what vibe you in? You're like, I don't even know the vibe. You yeah, know I don't know the vibe. Just like, like, music, like you know? how you, how do you, how do you keep that balance? Because you got to give the people what they want. Facts, facts. But at the same time, you got to keep yourself diverse and relevant enough to do everything. Yeah. See, on my free time, I don't listen to. I listen to rap just to see what's going yeah. on. Of course, I, I stay in tune to who dropping shit and exactly. shit like that. But, but on my free time. I'm riding around listening to ninety six point one. I think that what it ninety six point one. The pop, the pop station, the beat. I mean, not the beat, but power one hundred six. Whatever the fuck it is. Well, you think, I think you're talking about ninety nine one. I think one of them. Ninety six yeah, point like one. No, no, it's ninety six point one. Okay. It played number pop music all day. <laughs> okay. It played number the pop shit. Okay. And so then I, and then like well, hold on, we got to paint the picture. You got you got the car with the big ass speaker. You got big ass speakers in your car, mm -hmm. and you bumping pop pop music. Yeah, for sure. On the west side of Atlanta, for sure. <laughs> 